And so Bubby wanted me to do a trick tutorial, and he asked me if I had any tricks I was known for, and I don't think anybody knows who I am anymore because I've been gone <laughs> Who so is this long. guy? <laughs> so I don't know about known for, but I do have one thing that I feel like is a little different that I've never really seen a lot of people do or talk about. Yeah. And it doesn't really have a name, but we'll have to come up with a name for it. Okay. But basically all it is, it's, it's kind of a way to get into an inverted yaw spin that makes it more of a big circle. Okay. So instead of just flip yaw, what I do is like over rotate a turn, I get swooping on the turn, and then I pitch up into an inverted yaw spin. So, so you're, to break it down, you're kind of like going straight, I overturn for like 180, right? right? Like okay. a 180 basically, but the only difference is I like to have a, a little bit of arc to it. So okay. I'm making a circle, because that's important to the trick, is that I'm starting a circle going from forward flight into backwards flight, backwards circle. So forward, Basically, backwards orbit, backwards not orbit. not not inverse, backwards orbit. Backwards orbit. Okay. And then pitch up into inverted yaw spin from there. Okay. And the only little trick about it that I haven't really seen anybody talk about is reversing which way you're yawing, okay. because to keep the circle consistent from upright to inverted, you would have to flip yaw the other way. Okay. Which might sound a little confusing. It is a little bit confusing. But it'll make sense when we start doing it. Okay. Is it because? Upright if you're going left and then if you because flip. any object if you were to rotate it and then flip it over And it was still rotating the same way to you. It looked like it was going the other way Gotcha. It's just a physics thing and it, it switches the other and I noticed this when I was flying RC helicopters Okay, because there's a move where you have the yaw pegged all the time and you're flipping it over it's a pyro flip a pyro flip okay. And then every time it changes from up to right to inverted it looks like it's going the other way Gotcha. So because I knew that I was like well if I want my flow to look consistent Swooping into an inverted yaw spin, I knew I was going to have to go the other way. Gotcha. That's cool. So this trick was like inspired by 3D inspired helis. Inspired by 3D helis. Nice. Cool. So we're going to demonstrate that now. Sweet. All right. So let's break it down. First things first. You need to be able to do a 180 and kind of float backwards. That's, That's like the step first one. Thing. That's step one. Okay. From there, float backwards, but don't be flat. Have some roll going so you can start to arc it. And this is really more like uh, you're just pushing forward on the pitch. Okay. That's all I'm doing. I'm not rolling at all. If I just get into it right to begin with, I can just push forward, and now I'm arcing backwards. Okay. And you can kind of do that around a tree, right? It's like, it's like how you go into a vanny roll, but you just keep pushing forward instead of flattening out. So once you do that, Get your arc going, and then give it a lot of throttle and pitch forward. And now I'm almost upside down. You could even just like, go like that. And then from there, it's just an inverted yaw spin. So I'm in my arc, I'm going up, I'm upside down, and now I'm doing inverted yaw spin. And it looks smooth and all flows together because I'm switching the way that I'm yawing. So that's what it looks like just out in open space. I'll do one more of those. And so, then I'll try to integrate. Oh, here's Sean. Let's get a little, we'll just chase Sean on his bike for a second. All right, back to the tutorial. So what? So at what point in the trick are you changing your yaw and which way are you starting? As the soon yaw? as I'm inverted. Okay. So I'm giving it left yaw, yeah, left yaw, yeah, left yaw. Now I'm inverted, so I'm giving it right. Okay. And then one thing I'm not really describing that I'm doing is to come out of the yaw spin, I'm just kind of feeding in more roll. And I just, it's hard to even describe like how to know when to stop. You just kind of feel And now I'm flat again. All right, let me see if there's something, an obstacle I can do it around. Let's try to get over this tree with it. So I'm gonna come in backwards, do my thing, push up, invert a yaw, now I'm over it, and now I'm coming back around. Cool. For you audience, I'm gonna do one where I do stick cam, so like exaggerate your stick movements, make them look good. Okay. Got stick cam rolling. Right. Going straight, uh, doing my turn, pitching up, and then switching the yaw. I don't know if you could notice it on that one. It could a little bit. When you went right, it's, it's hard to like really exaggerate it. And the interesting thing is you really don't need a lot of left yaw when you first go into the thing. It's very little. It's a lot more uh, pitching forward than it is yaw, actually. Like as soon as I, um, I guess if we go back, step one is if you're flying forward and you give it a little bit of left yaw, you're kind of already there. You just push forward from there. So we should probably could have went in that. Like you don't really want to start with a coordinated turn. You want to start with only yaw. Because if I just give it yaw by itself and now start pushing forward, that's perfect. That's right where I want to be. 
So one more time, easy one, yaw, push forward, climb, and then give it right. Yeah, let's see if I can do something here, come around this guy. So when you exit the trick, are you going the same direction that you started? You could or? do either one. Like, I'll, let me see, I'll try one where I go the same way. I'm pretty sure you could do it either way. Yeah, that time I came out going the same direction. Okay. This time I'll come out going the other way. I think I like the opposite direction it's better. Be, it's because it's really just how many times are you spinning around. You could just, you know, if you're doing an inverted yaw spin, you can stop whenever you want, right? Yeah. So it just kind of depends on what you're doing it over or where you want to go. You could, it's, yeah, it's just dependent on when you stop that inverted yaw spin. Because a lot of times what I'm doing too is after my yaw spin, I'm looking straight down at the ground and rolling and picking a way I want to come out. Gotcha. Do you do that? Or do you just pull back or push down? I usually just pitch always to, to yeah, exit it. I guess, yeah, I kind of like roll it and then I'm still rolling as I'm finding the ground again. You know, after watching the trick, third person, like when you do it going the same direction, it's kind of like a, a, like a power loop, but like angled. Like Definitely. A, like, a, like a cyclone yeah. type thing. Yeah. Cyclone. cyclone. Let's call That's it the, the name of the trick. Yeah, because that used to be a trick. I did. And then Drew <laughs> renamed it. Yeah, little little FB history. Yeah. Matty Stuns, uh, like the inventor of all the Matty Flip and all those trippy yeah, backwards spins. flying in general, basically. He was yeah. the originator of it. He called what we call today a trippy spin a cyclone. That's how yeah. he originally named it. And then I think Drew, right, Ladrib, yeah. he made a video and called it the trippy spin, because yeah. it is trippy, and that's what stuck. Yeah, so the cyclone stuck. never got to be used for a name. And now it is. Now it is. We'll call this a cyclone. We'll call it a cyclone. Yeah, if Maddie's got a problem with it, he's got to come he back is. and start flying again <laughs> and do something about yeah. it. Come meet us in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come down to Florida, Maddie. Yeah. So to recap, it's like the three steps are basically go forward, 180 yaw, and pitch forward yep. to get yourself into this movement. Yep. And then more throttle and more forward pitch to get you inverted. Okay. Then just right yaw. And then just yaw. Nice. And then your choice of how you want to come out. You can either same way, opposite way. Yeah. And you can play with it with the um, you can play with the altitude a lot too. You okay. could keep this whole trick really low and it could just be something you did under a tree, you swept into it really quick. Mm -hmm. Or you could really exaggerate the throttle and go over something. Nice. Or you could like James has been uh, really pounding on is like the combos. You can yeah. At, like take some pieces away, add other pieces, link it into something else, come into it a different way. Yeah. There's a lot of things you could do. Like as you come out to it, you could go into another one, but totally reverse the whole thing. Yeah. And start with a right backwards turn into a left one. And I think this trip, trick would be really good for like doing more combos after it because you're put in kind of like the position of, to start a trippy spin a little bit. So, I mean, there's a bunch of things you can do to play yeah. with it, right? Or it's like a way to trick someone out yeah because yeah. you, you, you can look like this is a clear setup he's going in trippy spin but then do that instead yeah exactly and th yeah that's kind of interesting it's like you want to surprise people and have more different ways yeah and again that idea of left and right y'all depending if you're upright inverted so maybe you guys can think of other ways to implement that like yeah the fact just keep that in mind that when you're inverted from the outside point of view and in the camera, the yaw is kind of going the other way. Yeah. If you guys like this episode of Rotorat, make sure to subscribe and press the like button and comment down below any questions you have. I know this was a little bit more complicated of a trick. I mean, I haven't seen anything like it. And I mean, in FPV, like everyone's kind of doing the same thing. And like to yeah. finally see something where I'm like, I don't think I've seen that done. It's really cool. So yes, yes. <laughs> I get a moment of victory after watching this guy fly the last couple of days. Like, oh, I do. I have something. Yeah, something. It's sick. <laughs> That's after good to four know. years of hibernation. Yeah, four comes years. Comes out I strong. Still, still got one banger in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So leave a comment down below. We'll be answering any questions you have about the trick or just about life in general. You know, yeah. how, how you doing? How you doing? And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Forty-year-old dudes watching this video. Yeah, all you 40 year olds out there. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> what are you, 19? 19. 39. Right. Old man, you'll get there one day. Hopefully. Well, hopefully. Hope for the best. I hope for the best. <laughs> hopefully, uh, the world doesn't take me up before yeah. then.